Okay, so let me give you a really quick run through on one of the best bits about the SIG Energy system. No, it's not these batteries, it is the app. The app is one of the best apps that I've ever seen for a battery storage system. And I don't say that lightly because I've seen a lot of them, but this app is probably the best one out there that I've seen and I haven't seen them all. This bit here is the real time view of what's happening in the system. So we can see the, the solar is generating 500 watts on this particular site. This, the uh, battery is currently discharging at three kilowatts and the house is using 3.5. That is where that 3.5 is going. It's going to the house, into all of their, their heat pump, into their lights, their sockets, all that sort of stuff. And there's no grid usage. I will go through this in more detail in one of our YouTube videos. I want this to be a nice, quick, snappy video. So we're going to shoot down here. We can see this, this diagram here looks confusing, but actually when you break it down, it's really, really easy to follow. So this is yesterday's data. So click on solar, we can see where the solar power went. A little bit went into the battery, most of it went directly into the house. The battery supplied a lot of the load, about around 50% of it, and around 50% went back to the grid because this system forcibly discharges to the grid. And then the grid readings, 56% of the grid's consumption, so the consumption from the grid, went into the battery because this battery charges up on the cheap tariff. And the other 43% went to the house. You can change the time stamp on that, see different data times and everything else. We then got a diagram which shows you everything that's been happening with the solar, the grid, uh, the batteries charge, discharge and everything. I won't go into loads of detail on that just because I want to show you this part. So this part here is where we've inputted the customer's tariff, so both the import and the export tariff. We've got uh, an orange line along the bottom here and that is indicating the uh, export rate, so the selling price, and that is 15p for this customer. We've then got this yellow line here, which is the buy price. So this buy price, you can see it's got this big dip to start with. That's when the customer buys power in at eight pence per kilowatt hour. As it rises back up, that's the daytime rate, which is around 25, 27, kilowatt, uh, 27 pence per kilowatt hour. So you can see this blue line, which is the battery state of charge, the battery percentage, you can see it has this huge spike during that cheap window, and that is when it's buying power in. This system buys power in at 12 kilowatts, so it buys it in at a really high rate. It peaks then at around 100%, just short of that, and then it starts to use that power as we hit the higher rate tariff during the day. That is supplemented by a little bit of solar power, but mainly it's the battery power that it's purchased cheaply. That then is used throughout the day. And then you can see right towards the end of the day, we have this really steep decrease in the battery's percentage. And that is because the system is then selling that power back to the grid. Because getting towards the end of the day, it can see that the system isn't being used, um, isn't gonna need that power, and so sells it back to the grid. The final thing I'll show you is on here, we've got the total revenue for the system. So as of yesterday, this system earned the customer £8.14 in one day and that will only get better as more of this energy is used within the house rather than exporting to it to the grid.